Hello and welcome back to the wonderful Model Horse Collection unboxing series. This is Lucky Week 13 and for such a special occasion I figured that I would pick a completely unknown box. No marks, no nothing. So let's find out what we got in here. It is Briars. Our first model is the Briar Family Arabian Stallion. He is in glossy charcoal. The Briar Family Arabian Stallion was first issued in the early 60s and they were made in three, four, five different colors, glossy, charcoal, alabaster, palomino, and bay, if I remember correctly. Um, he has a seam split across his tail. So Briar Mole, actually he's got a big seam split all the way up here. They're made of two different molds that are then pushed together. And so where this mold, uh, the two pieces were put together, he is starting to come apart. Seam splits are, unfortunately, they happen, and collectors, there's really no way to repair them. If it's a very valuable model, you can have them restored. The Family Arabians were made for most of the 60s, 70s, 80s, so this guy's not worth a lot. He's in really pretty condition, or really pretty shading, though. He's got some beautiful shading up over his shoulder, on his hip. Um, he does have the Briar Mold Mark, which dates him a little bit later in his mold run. But um, this glossy charcoal family Arabian stallion is fairly common, but he was produced a long time ago. <laughs> um, time flies when you're having fun. So he's a nice older model. And we have, it looks like, a family Arabian mare. So the family Arabian mares had an interesting history. The whole family, the whole Arabian family had an interesting history. She's uh, one of the original colors, which is the glossy gray Appaloosa. So I guess there was five colors. And she's not in the best of condition and she's fairly average in her coloring. So this model can have a lot of variation. They can be solid gray. They can have a very distinct belly band. They can have the black just on their butt. They can have it splattered all the way up their mane. So there's a lot of variations for collectors. This one is fairly average and she's in fairly average condition. She does have the briar mold mark. So she's just a nice piece, pretty attractive. And on the older side, um, it looks like another family Arabian mare. This bell is in glossy charcoal to match the stallion. She has some condition issues, um, some rubs, some marks. However, she also has eye whites. So in the 60s, as just a little extra added detail, Briar would add that little eye white detail to the eyes, um, which the her stallion did not get. She does have the Briar mold mark. She has a lot higher gloss than the stallion does. She looks to be a little browner, um, but overall just a very nice example of an older family Arabian mare. And it looks like we have a flock of family Arabian foals here to pick from. So we have, it looks like, a glossy charcoal family Arabian pull. Uh, and he looks like he's doing the Macarena here with his little footy. Sometimes this, this can be an actual function of when they come out of the mold. They're very hot, very warm, very malleable. And when they're set on those cooling boards, they can end up with some warping. So he's got one little footy going out. You can, you can correct them get him a little bit of hot water and mold him back to where he should be. He is in fairly average condition. Like his dad, he doesn't have very high gloss. He doesn't have his eye whites. He does have a mold mark. So he is just a little family Arabian foal in glossy charcoal that goes with his mommy and daddy. And we have a family Arabian foal in that gray Appaloosa to match mommy. He is also in fairly average condition. Um, his leg is a little straighter, but still not very straight compared to his little brother there. And uh, he has a mold mark. He is fairly average with just an average white belly band, kind of average shading, and just a nice older model. These were played with, they were issued as toys, so most kids play with them, and a lot of them ended up with some play damage. Ooh, and onward and upward, another family Arabian foal, glossy alabaster, 
and much better condition probably because he doesn't have a lot of paint to get rubbed his paint up over his tail is definitely scuffed mostly white gray mane tail nose and hooves just plain black eyes he does have the briar mold mark so a little family arabian foal moving on palomino family arabian foal these guys also came in a wide variety of colors Collectors who like these molds like them very much and can collect a wide variety. I have seen these in everything from bright yellow all the way to almost brown because it's they're all hand painted. So whatever the painter of the day mixed up, um, meaning mixed, not confused, um, could be a lot of shading, could be a little shading. Was it five o'clock Friday afternoon? Was it, you know, when he got there ready to roll Monday morning? This guy is fairly average, a little bit on the browner hue, but nicely painted. Quite a few little scuffs and flaws, but just a nice example, kind of moderate glossing. Oop, animal mark. And we have the bay, family Arabian foal. I'm shocked, truly shocked and amazed. Glossy bay. The one difference about the bays is they came with a blaze on their face instead of the bald face that their brethren have. And he's mostly brown with the dark brown or black mane, tail, and hooves. He is in fairly nice condition. He has some gloss goobers. Um, they did try and have good quality control, but every once in a while you'd end up with uh, an oops. And this is an actual factory gloss problem, not something that happened afterwards. He does have a few little uh, rubs and marks, but overall in decent condition, average glossing, kind of an average color. So nice little, nice little foal. So one, two, three, four, five, five colors on the original Family Arabians. And what do we got? We got another Family Arabian foal in glossy gray. So let's compare this one. This one is much more attractive. You can see, or hopefully, he's got uh, black Appaloosa all the way up. He's got those Appaloosa spots all the way up to his shoulder, all the way down his leg. He also isn't in the best of condition, but this guy is definitely more striking with his Appaloosa spotting. Um, other than that, they're pretty similar in color. He's a little glossier, but a, a little bit of a variation with that Appaloosa color and the um, spots coming all the way up to his shoulder. He also has a mold mark and just a nice example of the mold. Oh, well, looks like we've got a few proud Arabs. So, lesson time. I said the Arabian family had a history and they do. This is the proud Arabian foal as opposed to the family Arabian foal. So let's grab our previous guy and we'll look. A collector can tell instantly from small details the difference in mold. A non-collector mostly notices the flatness of the tail on the proud Arab and the curved tail of the family Arabian. There's a host of other differences. This foal was sculpted by Maureen Love and Briar honored her <laughs> by issuing the horse in plastic in about 1950, 56-ish. Maureen Love's original sculpture was being produced in ceramic by Hagen Reniker Potteries. Hagen Reniker in the mid 50s went, whoa, wait, back up the truck. Um, that's our mold, we have the rights to it. So Briar discontinued the original Proud Arabian Foal and Chris Hess went to work and sculpted the family Arabian Foal. Sometime in the 70s, Hagen Reniker said, hey, you want to make those? And Briar said, hey, he sounds good. And so they re-released the Proud Arabian Foal in the early to mid 70s and have been producing them up through the 2000s. So this is the Proud Arabian Foal in the late 70s, early 80s, dapple gray. This is a beautiful example of a dapple gray family Arabian Foal. I just can't tell you how striking he is. He has white splatters all the way up over his face, onto his nose. Just like I said, that Appaloosa family Arabian foal could have those black dapples spread all over. This guy, this is an exceptional piece. He really has a lot of that 
wild Appaloosa splattering all over him. So um, he, or she, I think she's actually a she, does not have a mold mark. Don't remember, but I'm sure Briar History uh, folks out there can tell you exactly when the mold mark came and went on the family Arabians. Um, so this is the late 70s, early 80s dapple gray family Arabian foal. Beautiful, beautiful. I just can't tell you how attractive this mold is. This is also a much more anatomically correct horse. Uh, the collectors loved Maureen Love because she not only had very, very confirmationally correct horses, they also had a lot of presence and a lot of character. Chris Hess did a lovely job of sculpting, but he wasn't the most detailed on his three-dimensional sculptures. Poor Maureen Love just knocked it out of the ballpark. So this is an exceptionally popular mold. Very nice, very attractive. Like it a lot. So what do we got here? Okay, this is interesting. This is the original Proud Arabian Foal. I'll have to do a blog post on these guys. This one's from the late 50s. This is in glossy alabaster. In the 50s, Briar produced the five colors on the Arabians in varying amounts, varying years, but this is from 56 to 1960-ish, glossy alabaster. So this is the family Arabian brethren that succeeded the proud Arabian. And there are a few other light mold detail changes that they made over the years, mostly in the, his mommy. Has a few rubs on his nose and his tail. Used to be really, 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 really rare. Now alabaster is probably one of the more common of the original colors on this model. Really nice shading though. He has a lot of shading in his um, body and nicely painted. Doesn't have a lot of the extra details, kind of like the lip liner or any of those kind of things. Just a very, very nice example of an older model. And we have another proud Arabian foal. This is the Mahogany Bay. This was one of my original models that I had when I was a kid. So original, then we went to the Family Arabs, then we reissued the Proud Arabs. This guy was produced uh, for a lot of years in the 80s and just a beautiful, beautiful, this was one of my favorites always was the Mahogany Bay on the Family Arabian. Black mane and tail, a little bit of white, varied on kind of the legs. He has um, a black mark that I can't really tell if it's under the paint or if it's over. He has a little bit of shading on his shoulder, a very poorly painted eye on his left. His right is much better painted. Um, again, really, really attractive. I just love this color on this mold. Um, not quite as striking as his dapple gray brethren, but a very, very nice example of the Proud Arabian Foal. And in my ramblings, I've probably confused a little bit off and on, but um, a nice collection of Arabian family horses, mares, foals, new, old. And there is another last hurrah in the box. We have the Amber and Ashley Twin Foals. This is the original regular run of this mold. I think I made an error a couple weeks back on some of the special run foals that I pulled out. I misnamed them. But this is the original uh, issue of these molds. And he paid $23 probably at a toy store because it doesn't have a barcode or anything else on the price tag back then. They're in a nice chestnut with stars and a couple of stockings. Really pretty molds. They do fairly well. They're nicely correct, nicely painted. Um, probably, I'm testing myself now, sometime in the 90s. Um, so a nice box, mostly Arabians, a couple of Morgans, and not bad for the 13th box. So thank you for joining me. We'll see what happens next week.